What's up guys, in today's video, we are going to be doing the part two series of the brand new 42 foot mag bay here in Pensacola, Florida. We are doing a full correction and ceramic coating with Stark Liquithor and Stark Repel Pro on the brand new 42 foot mag bay. If you have not seen part one, it is the quoting process of this boat. I teach you guys how to properly quote for a ceramic job, specifically on this boat or boats like this one if you did not see that one click right here and go see part one this is part two guys like always if you get any value out of this video please hit the like button hit that subscribe button hit that little bell notification so every time i make a video it will pop up and all of the products that i mention in this video are in the description section down below if you click those links to purchase those products i appreciate you guys for that all right so like i said this is part two series of the 42 foot mag bay ceramic coating here in pensacola florida and dan davis Oh, big sexy right here. <laughs> he's looking swole. <laughs> anyway, uh, he's doing a, um, a test spot right here on the front. We are trying to see exactly what steps need to be done on this boat to get all of the swirl marks out like I showed in the other video. If you had not seen the other video, let's go hop and see what I'm talking about as far as swirls. Like I showed you guys in the other video, but here are the swirl marks. I'm hoping we could see this on camera. They're swirling around in the sunlight. You have to look at the beam of light to be able to see them, but they're swirling around. They're not so bad on this boat, but there are some that need to be corrected out of this boat. And that's exactly what we're gonna be doing in this video. We're correcting all of the swirls, all of the holograms. There is no oxidation on this boat at all because it is a brand new boat. It literally just got back from the factory. You can see all the swirl marks in the gel coat, all right here. So they're like that throughout the whole thing. You can see them swirling around real bad. That's exactly what we're gonna be polishing out um, for the correction step. Now you really wanna make sure you get all of these swirl marks out before you do the, the ceramic because it can compromise the longevity of the ceramic. So we are going to do a three-step system on this boat. Come to find out, there are some pretty heavy sanding marks and the gel coat. I did, took my time and took about two hours in doing test spots down here to figure out what worked. We are gonna do the three-step correction process. So Dan up here is gonna do the roof. The way we're gonna kind of split this up is he's just gonna do the roof. He's gonna do the roof by himself. He's gonna do all three steps by himself. And then I'm gonna start on the bottom here and then work my way down the sides and hopefully we'll finish all three steps. So with that said, let's go to the correction steps. Okay guys, let's go ahead and hop into the tutorial. So as you can see here, Dan and I are both doing the first step, which is start level R on the double-sided wool pad using the rotary machine. Now I want to make a point, Stark level R. Anytime you're using Stark level R, you are going to want to use it on a lower RPM setting. So I usually like to keep it around that 900 RPM setting on Stark level R. You're gonna wanna put a decent amount of pressure and just let the machine do the work. Let the compound actually work in and do the job. I don't like to run it on a super for fast speed, I usually like to keep it slow around that 900 RPM. Now, if you have also watched my videos for any time, you're gonna know that I love doing these side to side, up, down, side to side, kind of pattern when it comes to polishing. So right here, guys, as you can see, this is a real time uh, video footage. This is not sped up or slowed down in any kind of way. This is real time first person point of view. So I, you guys can kind of understand how slow I'm actually moving the machine. It's a slow and steady kind of process. And after every single section that you do, go ahead and wipe it down with a microfiber rag. Okay, a lot of you guys ask me constantly like, Drake, you know, do I, you know, do I do the whole side, then wipe it down? No, every single section that you do, go ahead and wipe it with a microfiber after. As you can see here, guys, really nice and slow. Let the compound, let the Stark Level R really work its way in. Stark Level R is a diminishing abrasive compound. Now, what that means is it is a heavy grit compound, but once it heats up under pressure and under speed from the wool and the machine, it's actually going to break down into a finer polish, which is going to give you a nicer finish, which would allow you to hop right to a polish typically. So you guys can just polish out the swirl marks and scratches. So it's a perfect finish. Now, in this case, this boat actually had some sanding marks from the factory and some heavier swirls from the factory. And that's exactly why we're having to do all this. And I explained that earlier. The reason why we had to go to Stark Level R was to cut out some of those heavy, heavy sanding marks from the factory, which looked to be around, you know, a thousand, maybe, maybe even 500 to a thousand grit sandpaper. I could be wrong. If somebody from Mag Bay sees this, <laughs> definitely prove me wrong. Anyway, we had to use the Stark Level R to cut out some of those super heavy sanding marks.
day two out here on the Mag Bay. Uh, obviously, you saw everything we did yesterday. The goal for yesterday was to finish all of the level R steps on the top and the roof and all of the rotary elevate steps, and we were not successful. So today, uh, Dan did finish both steps on the top. I did not finish my part because I'm too busy making videos and slacking off. <laughs> so uh, what we had Dan do today, instead of him doing the third step on the top, he's actually gonna hop down and help me because guys, I wanted to make a quick point. It is always good to stay in sync with all of your steps because if I'm doing the second step over what he did the third step, then it's just creating more work for yourself. So before you hop onto the different steps, go ahead. So I like to get the roof and the sides done with level R and then do the roof and the sides done with the second step and then we move to the third step all uniform. So if you have somebody doing the roof, unless it's not attached, if it's totally different or totally separate, by all means, do all your steps. But if they're attached and you're having to work over each other, there's no sense in doing the third step and then hitting it with the second. It just creates more work. So for day two today on this boat for the correction compound steps, we're going to be finishing up elevate on the rotary wool pad and we're going to be hopping to our third step to finish polishing this boat the goal today is to have all of the correction done today hopefully we can we got to work hard we're trying to get this boat done by friday because i have to move on to another huge project that i'm excited to shoot for you guys a beautiful beautiful boat but like i said today's goal is to finish up all the correction so let's see if we can get that done today Dan is now hopping on the superstructure with me to finish with Stark Elevate. Stark Elevate works perfectly with Stark Level R. It is designed to go with one another. Stark Elevate is a diminishing abrasive as well, but it is a little less on the cutting scale. So what this is going to do, this is really going to help cut out the swirls that the Stark Level R put in. And this is going to take those out and leave you with a phenomenal shine. But because you are using a rotary and a wool pad, this will also leave holograms, which is why we have to follow up with another step after this one but like i said guys this is going to remove all of the scratches and swirls that the stark level r put in and once we are done this we're then going to follow up with the third step as you can see here dan what he's doing is those little smooth areas right in the non-skid those had swirls all in them as well so he's just getting those little smooth strips all polished up in the non-skid Now, once we are done with Stark Elevate on the wool pad, we're then hopping to Stark Elevate on the Orange Force Rotation Lake Country Foam Pad. I'm also using the Rupes Millie here. If you've watched my videos for any time, you know I'm a huge fan of the Flex 3401 VRG, but I did buy a Rupes Millie, and guys, I will say I have been loving it a lot lately. Um, the difference in rotation, the Rupes Milli does spin clockwise where the Flex 3401 spins counterclockwise. There is a little bit of difference, but not, not a ton, but there is a little bit of difference. And I will say the Rupes Milli has been extremely smooth. Um, I have not tested it for a long amount of time, so I'm not going to put my name behind it, but the Rupes Milli has been um, a great machine so far that we've used. Guys, when it comes to polishing, same steps, side to side, up, down, side to side, wipe your sections after every single time. And this step is going to remove any holograms, any swirls, anything left over to leave the surface absolutely perfect and a perfect mirror finish. So we're just gonna finish all of the top side here with the third step with Stark Elevate on the Force Rotation Orange Lake Country Foam Pad, in this case, using the Rupes Millie. Dan here is using the Force Rotation 3401 as well. Like always, still an amazing machine. Both machines are great. If you went with either one, you won't be disappointed. Here inside the helm, there was a few spots the customers wanted us to hit just because it was pretty eyesores when the when the sun would beam in. You could see some uh, sanding marks and swirl marks in these uh, kind of countertop areas. So that's all we did there. We went ahead and hit it with all three steps just to clear them out so you wouldn't actually see them when the sun hit them.
It is officially day three on the 42 foot mag bay. Yesterday we did hit our goal. We finished all of the correction that we needed to do. We had to do the roof up here. We had to do the superstructure area, the front, and then a few little spots inside of the cockpit. Um, that were just kind of some eyesores that you can see a lot of swirls and whatnot So today our goal is to get the entire boat prepped for ceramic by washing it There is a lot of preparation when it comes to ceramic So if you're watching this video and you're trying to learn how to ceramic coat guys You have to realize that ceramic is not easy to apply There is a ton of work involved with ceramic one of the biggest things that you can do after you do all of your correction steps and a freaking bird crapped all over my boat already <laughs> one of the biggest things you have to do is wash it with dawn and get all of the oils from the compounds off if you're doing a huge yacht you kind of can't do this unfortunately i mean you can but it's just going to make a lot of mess and a lot of extra work but on these smaller boats i like to hold, wash the whole boat with dawn dishwashing soap and then getting your non-skid literally perfect scrubbing it out with scrub brushes get all that compound that you know went just walking and dirt and stuff you know off of the surface we're about to go ahead and wash the entire boat down entire top side with dawn dishwashing soap that's literally all we're using i don't really love to use like degreasers and stuff after you do a major correction because it can sometimes drip down the sides and cause streaking so i just like to use uh dawn dishwashing soap that's pretty much it so dawn ajax uh any basic you know dish dish soap will work you don't have to get too crazy on it after we wash it then we're gonna go ahead and start to prep for our ceramic now I want to point out this too this is a very a very crucial step when you're doing boats like this guys out and about in the sunlight here in the weather as you can see behind me the clouds it looks like it's going to rain today guys when you ceramic coat a boat it has to cure it cannot get wet for at least eight hours I personally like 12 hours where it does not get wet at all that's probably gonna mess us up today so today's goal originally was to get the whole boat cleaned and we were gonna start ceramic coating the roof and the superstructure here and leave all the cockpit cockpit for tomorrow but it looks like it's gonna rain around two or three o'clock so we may not get to do that we're just gonna kind of play that by ear um you know so good point if it's gonna rain that day no ceramic coating for you wait till the next day uh to get it get it all coated with all that said let's go ahead and hop into day three all right guys so like i just said we're just gonna scrub the boat out with dawn dishwashing soap nothing crazy here i'm using the blue sure hold extra soft brush now do not get any of the other brushes besides the extra soft brush i think it's the blue brush it's the x soft if you get the x soft you're not going to have any problems with it swirling or scratching or anything like that i know a lot of you guys like to comment and say you know the brush is going to scratch i so far have not had any issues with this brush at all now we are prepping this bow for ceramics so we are making the non-skid absolutely perfect all we're using here was magic erasers with some dawn dishwater soap and it literally gets all of this world out perfectly now right here if you watch the latest video if you watch the last video that i actually have it's about removing rust marks if you have not seen that video go in the description down below to there's rust marks everywhere video watch that video you'll see what we did there we actually had to remove a ton of rust marks that appeared on this boat now to prep this boat i am going all of the caulking right now with super clean if you ever have any white stuff in your caulking from polish or anything just take a little bit of degreaser like super clean and wipe out your caulking and literally all that white stuff will come right out guys i'm in here we're doing our final clean we're pretty much done washing the boat but what I like to do before we start the ceramic coating prep process, especially on brand new boats, is really looking around. So as you can see right here, there's a little bit of overspray right here that needs to come out. Uh, down here, there's a little bit of like glue residue, um, some tape glue residue. All down here, you can see like little pieces of tape, glue, that kind of thing. So all right here, you can see a bunch of nasty residue under there. When you're doing brand new boats, they're in great shape, but you can always make them better. Like I said, they're coming from the factory, they're getting built, they're getting painted on, they're getting all this stuff, but you as the detailer, when you come in on a brand new 2021, like I said, this just got delivered, um, I think two weeks ago, maybe. So it just, it just got in. Um, 
guys, you have the chance to make this thing absolutely perfect. So removing little, little like oversprays, um, glue, adhesive. There was some like up here on the metal and on the roof. Um, getting all of that stuff, guys, is gonna make a huge difference in your washing process. So that is pretty much it. Um, yeah, we're gonna do a little bit of nitpicking around, but we got all that metal off of the non-skid. There's some, there's a little bit more right here on there, but other than that, guys, this boat is ready to go and it's gorgeous, it's beautiful. Um, it is going to rain, there's a 100% chance of rain, so we're not gonna be able to coat today. But uh, we're gonna come back tomorrow and we are going to start ceramic coating. So the first step with that is going to be prepping it with alcohol. We have to alcohol wipe it to get any oils, any smudges, anything like that off. And then we're gonna hit it with triple P primer. And then we're gonna do two coats of Stark Liquithor Ceramic. So look forward for the part three video. And uh, yeah, guys, we're gonna get to start coating. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell notification. So every time I make a video, it will pop up and I will see you guys in part three about how to ceramic coat a boat. Let's go.